to grade the president, the first president of the United States? Like a straight up bitch. Miguel language? Sorry, Mr. Dunbar. All right. You obviously have uh, pretty strong views on Washington, uh, as, as you should, as you have a right to. Can someone uh, share their thoughts on that? Slaves, duh. Slaves, good. Slaves are good? Miguel, I obviously wasn't saying that slavery was good. Go ahead, Sadie. What? We were talking about Washington. Oh, well, I mean, he had slaves. And I mean, yeah, he did all these great things, like he killed British people and he made more dirt roads or whatever. But slaves cut down the trees to make the roads. He didn't pay them. And that's deforestation. Like the rainforest in Brazil, it's really bad. Didn't he also bang a few of his slaves? No, that was John F. Kennedy. That wasn't JF. Guys, I think, I think if we can look at Washington through the prism of being a fallible human, like a lot of our, our historical figures, they weren't superheroes, these were people. They were, they were messy and they were complicated, but I think if we look at his accomplishments with his flaws, I think that we can all relate to Washington a little more. I don't know, still seems like a bitch. <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up, okay? Do me a favor, get uh, get your essays in my Dropbox tomorrow by 5 p.m. Or I'm docking you guys 10 points per day. Okay? Bye-bye. Okay, you text me, it's fine. I had a meeting run over, my boss is rambling, so. It's okay, thank you for bringing her. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. She's with me all day now. Yeah? Going to preschool, yeah. What happened, they quarantined? No, precautionary for a couple weeks till the numbers go down, oh. she's fine. Look, we're violating the order by me even being here. But I know you'd wanna see her, so now you've seen her. Well, thank you. Uh, keeping the original, but the lawyer says the court copy is just fine for... Where's your mask? It's in the car. Do you want to put it on? Not really. I'm in my apartment all day teaching. I don't go anywhere. Still, the optics matter. People see you. Okay, well, I, uh, I'll take that under advisement. You look really good. I mean, your eyes do, your, your, your forehead. You got a haircut, I can tell that. How's teaching been? Um, it's been all right. Challenging, I'm getting through it. Oh, hey, come here for a second. I brought you this, out. Uh, you left it when you picked up your last few boxes. Well, I can't fit in my car. Can you disassemble it? I can. Not fast. I can just bring it by. No. I don't even have to come inside. No, it's not a good idea. Why isn't it a good idea? You know why. So is he like, is he parked in my space? No, he is parked in what is now my extra space. You call the therapist yet? Fuck you, Kim. Nice. Nice. You know what? Hmm. Keep the bike. Sell it, whatever you want. Thanks. That's it, then. 
Say bye to Daddy. Bye, baby. I love you. I love you. an outbreak on campus. They sent us all home. You have to get tested? No, it was a night custodian. All of us in the counseling office aren't on his rotation. So what are they doing with the school? <sighs> they want to play it safe, so they shut it down. It's going to be a ghost town for at least a few weeks. Looks like you're stuck with me. Oh, it's a horror. <laughs> I've got two more bags in the car. Mind taking a break from your busy studies and grabbing them? I got you. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, just having some uh, technical issues over here. I'm logging on now. Yeah. Fuck. Huh? No, no, no. I'm... I, uh... I understand that the parents are, are calling you nonstop right now. I get it. I also understand that you have better things to be doing during a pandemic. I'm not fucking stupid. <sighs> Listen, the last time I checked, I'm a, I was a history teacher, not a fucking IT guy. Okay, I'm doing the best that I can here. If it's not good enough for you, you call my union rep. Hey everybody, sorry. I'm sorry that I'm late. Um, a little technical issue. Uh, let's turn to page 248. want to get COVID. I'm serious. I'll kick its ass. It's the Invincible's diatribe again. I am. I placed third in the last MMA tournament in case anyone forgot. Yeah, you're a black belt douchebag. Every night before I fall asleep, I seriously think why I don't break up with you. I bet that's not all you think about in bed. Oh, thanks for getting my burger. I'll get you back next time. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna fucking die of boredom before I die of COVID. <laughs> you know what we should do? Throw a party. Get fucked up. Where? Everyone's home. Parents, too. There's that old warehouse on 18th. It has a security guard. How do you know? I take walks with my mom at night. I always see a security guard out there texting. 
What other buildings are empty because of COVID? Schools? Yeah, but schools have, like, maintenance men there. Actually, no, they don't. At least not ours. They shut it down. What are you talking about? My mom said some janitor caught the virus, so we're not taking any chances. So what? It's totally empty? It's school, guys. It's not a rave venue. That's why it's perfect. If there was just an outbreak there, then no one's going to go near that place for at least a few days. The shit's, like, radioactive. That's hardly a compelling argument for us to go ourselves. Trevor, did you sell your paintball guns yet? Not yet. There we go. We'll get drunk and tag up the school with pellets. That's stupid. Oh, come on. They closed the paintball park since the pandemic. I know you miss going. It's like the only loser thing you're good at. Thanks, pal. I mean, you have to impress Sadie with something. Don't be an asshole. No, I think it could be fun. We should do it. I don't know. My mom works in the counseling office. We can mess with her job if we get caught. We're not going to get caught. And if someone shows up, we'll just go out a side door or something. We can outrun any old ass janitor, right? Now, I know you're in. Are you in? Only if Trevor's in. This pussy's in. Hey! Sorry. Hey, why aren't you wearing your mask? We're good, bro. It's just like study pods, a little herd immunity here. You should wear your mask. I'm safe, dog, I promise. I wear a condom at least like half the time. <laughs> you're gonna get your ass kicked one of these days with that mouth. We're teenagers. We're invincible. I'm just saying, if the British didn't have guns and the Americans didn't have guns, then the militia wouldn't have needed guns. Right. I totally agree, but they did. I mean, those are the origins of the Second Amendment. Well, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I don't know. No, don't say that. I like it. I like it when you open up with your thoughts like that. It's, uh, it's refreshing. It's refreshing and charming. So I think, uh, I think the argument with guns is that they were a natural right for citizens. For them to be able to protect themselves, to feel safe, to feel like they have some sort of control of their future. Do you own one? I don't think my, uh, my feelings or my hobbies should intermingle with our class discussions. That's a yes. <laughs> I think the amendment was to protect citizens from everyone. You know, governments, governments were not always honest and the most well-intentioned with their country. Hello, gender neutral, country people, please. Country people. Thank you, Genesis. I don't know. Stop saying you don't know. Tell us what you think. I just don't want to get shot, right? One thing about the pandemic, at least you don't have to hear about a school getting shot up every month. That's one thing you don't have to worry about. That's a good point. That is a good point. You know, I don't always agree with your opinions, but they're, they're always really well thought out. They're, they're salient. All right, should we uh, head to our breakout boxes now? What about 10 p.m.? Later. My dad will be downstairs until at least 11.30 watching TV. Sadie, can you come over? Yeah, my aunt's cool with it. I'll be there around 6. Trevor, are you good for tomorrow night? Yeah. You gonna bring the paintball guns? I'll bring them in and up. And what about your mom's key? What do you mean? Well, we're not gonna break windows to get into the school to play paintball. We need your key. Oh, dude, come on, man. Don't pressure him. Look, it's fine. I'll get him. I'll get him. I mean, if you can't, we can always get Sadie to blow Mr. Dunbar for his set. Miguel, you're a pig. That is so not cool you said that. Whatever. He's always like, Sadie, please, go on. Sadie, please, we want to hear what you have to say. Sadie, when school starts, can you wear a shorter skirt so I can try and catch a glimpse of your panties? Um, you're inappropriate. And disgusting. I'm joking. Right, Trevor? Don't involve me. You're an asshole. I'm sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking, Sades. But not about him. The dude's a fucking weirdo who certainly jacks off to what you look like clothes, much less naked. Okay, you need to stop. Oh, he's not a creep? He's gross, but that's not the point. The point is you're being a dick and you need to stop. His wife left him. What? 
Yeah, my mom told me he's going through a divorce. I guess he's got rage issues? I mean, we never knew because we didn't have a class with him, but supposedly he went nuts on a teacher's aide that came in high last year. Are you serious? What did dumbass Dunbar do? I don't know. I know he got written up for it. I think the charges are still pending, though. There it is. The dude's a fucking psycho. Mystery solved. Don't be. What? No, Sadie, please continue. I'm just saying, he seems OK. He's just sad. We all go through hard times sometimes. Oh, you want to fuck him? Miguel, I'm dead serious. You want a hand job before summer break? It's going to be a miracle. Fine. Next up, please. Really? You know what? You're right, Miguel. Fuck that fool, man. That's what I'm saying. No. Fuck how he talks to Sadie. It's messed up. I don't give a damn that he's having marital problems. Maybe his wife left his loser ass because she knows he like to fuck with his students. Don't be a creep and shit won't happen like that. It's karma. <laughs> Heard that. Yeah, he's fucking creepy. You know, if you get back to school, I may just lie and say you touched me if he makes me feel uncomfortable. Whoa. You guys are more cold-blooded than me. Damn. this oh come on dude really dude come on man move over what the fuck dude seriously man fucking move over the fuck man dude what the fuck pedestrians man? out there right away oh yeah you gonna fucking hit my car you fucking pedestrian really okay I'm sorry. Yeah. That I hate your car. Yeah, you okay. are fucking sorry, man. I'm fucking jogging because I'm a little stressed out. Right, listen, I don't give a shit about your stress. You don't fucking hit my car, you understand? I understand. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, fuck you, oh, man. Dude, what the fuck? Fuck you, floor. What the bitch? Fuck you, Oh, shit. What are you fucking... Hey. Listen, nobody's gonna fucking come here and help you, okay? So, you go fuck yourself. Oh! Mr. Dunbar? Sorry. What do you think? About what? I the internet connection was uh, was not great. I didn't I didn't hear what you said. I was talking about when Washington died. The dilemma the country was in. What dilemma? I mean, I don't know. Don't say you don't know. Sadie, come on, tell us, tell us what you think. Seems he was a soldier at heart. Maybe not the smartest guy in the room, but the most capable. I mean, maybe that's what it takes to be a strong leader. He never thought that he was smarter than he was. He seemed grateful, even simple. <sighs> grateful for what? for the hope of what things could be for the country. So you're saying that he knew his place in history? Exactly. He died knowing he made his mark. His hubris wasn't such that he needed to be king. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with that. All right, that's enough. Thank you, thank you, Sadie. And uh, everyone have a good weekend.
You gonna get that? Sure, door. <laughs> really? Okay, all right, don't do it. Just sit there. Watching the game, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Is everything okay? No. Not at all. Sorry. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I kind of miss this place. Wait, the. The lights are on. Trevor, are you sure no one's here? Um, this is what my mom said. See something? It's, Guys. It's a, that's Guys. a heart. It's a... What are you doing? No, move back around. We don't have time to run. Come on. So quiet, spooky quiet. Have you guys been here when it's empty? Well, he works for my mom, so. Hey guys, why are we whispering? Shh. I can't hear you, bro. What? Oh my God! Shh. Shh. Cock, Dude. cock, fuck, big hairy nutsack, queef. Shh. 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 Fine. Because no one's here. No one's here, are you? Is anyone here? I don't think anyone is here. We're all alone, motherfucker! I think we run this bitch! Woo! Yes! Yes! Woo! Oh. Yeah! Oh. 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 Get up! And then... That little 
rat face sophomore had the nerve to tell me, the best actress they have in drama club, that I was stepping on her lines. I mean, I'm the goddamn lead. I can step on your lines if I want to. Cunt. Ugh, I'm totally with you, babe. You're the star. Such a good listener. Ooh. Does that mean we can have sex tonight? You know what we haven't done? I can guess. Can you? Are we talking around the parameters of an orgy? Gross. Do not include me. We have never taken a shower together. I got three fourths of a cup. I, I wasn't trying to get you drunk. <laughs> Is it bad if I say I'm disappointed? Was I? I don't even know. <laughs> Tears to dolphins. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you guys know that I was Lady Macbeth in eighth grade? The school let us use this stage for our opening night. Do you remember it? That night? No, her monologue. Mm. Some of it. Mm, you should perform it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Yeah. No. Oh, come no. on. Please, I want to see it. Me too. No. Come on, I want to hear it. Please. Come on. Genesis. 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 Woo! Let's get it. Come to my women's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. Come thick night and pall thee in the dunnest smoke of hell. That my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peeps through the blanket of the dark to cry. <laughs> Fuck you, Miguel. I thought it was good. Turn that light off, you idiot. Miguel, you're an asshole. Why am I an asshole? So good. Really, really impressive. Trevor, I wouldn't run if I were you. I've already seen your faces. Plus, I know you guys. So uh, I'm pretty sure I could give a pretty detailed description of who you are to the police. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. Turn around. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's good. See, this the school's not gonna think that I doctored these. <laughs> All right. How you guys doing? Good? Okay. The only other question that I have for you is. Do you have pellets for this? What? You guys don't want me to play? Are you serious, Mr. Dunbar? I'm totally serious. This is going to be fun. I'm not going to turn you guys in. I swear, I'm not. That's not That's not the kind of person that I am. I won't. What do you, what do you want to do? I just want to play. That's all I want to do. I just want to play. Come on, what do you guys think? You were the only ones that were bored out of your minds at home during this fucking pandemic? Let's do this. Okay, so let's get 
Get these all loaded up. We'll do two teams. We'll start at different positions at the school. Trevor, these are all your guns? Yeah. How often do you play? Um, I have a season pass to the payroll. I'm sorry, you have a season pass to what? I have season pass to uh, payroll. You have a season pass to payroll. Wow. <laughs> and you lay in bed at night wondering why you're struggling with girls. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm kidding. I'm just busting your balls. But seriously, you're going to be a rock star because you're going to have two women on your team. Miguel, you're coming with me. Wait, why am I on your team? Because I'm clearly the best shot and you are the weakest link. Okay, who are you calling a weak link? No offense, man, no offense. I just, I play this all the time, all right? I have a, I have a sixth sense. I can tell by looking at somebody whether they're good or not. And you don't look like you could uh, hit a barn with a shotgun. Am I, am I right, Trevor? We did play for my birthday last year. Yeah, you suck. Shut up. <laughs> it's true. Very good. Okay, so here's here's the rules, okay? Rules of the game. No headshots, no chest shots, arms and legs. If you get hit in the leg, you limp. If, uh, if you run full out, you're disqualified. You're cheating, okay? Three shots total and you're out. Oh, this is going to be so dope. This is going to be so dope. One more thing, though. Don't hate me. All right, guys. Phone's in. Let's do it. All right? Come on. What? We have to do it. Come on. It's, I don't want people signaling each other while we're playing. No, I'm not giving you my phone. Can we promise not to? Yeah, we'll, like, give you our word. Your word? Really? I, you know that I've been teaching for almost two decades. A 17-year-old's word means about as much as the principal's word, which is not at all. So put your phones in the locker. I mean, he's right. I mean, I play with guys who signal their team members all the time. It's kind of... Hard not to when you're pinned down and desperate. He has a point. Expert analysis. Thank you very much. Extra points this semester for sure. For real? Guys, come on. I'm really, I'm a nice guy. I'm cool. And this is like, this is a time machine for me with you guys right now doing this. This is amazing. Don't think that I'm so old that I don't remember what it was like to be your age. Because I do. Come on, level playing field. Let's do this. I, I, I'm in as well. Come on, give me your phones. Thank you. Give me your phone. Come on. Genesis, come on. The game demands a strong willingness for teamwork. The game demands strategic thinking. The game, ladies and gentlemen, is capture the flag, located in the perfect midpoint. We start on opposite ends of the school. Sadie, Trevor, and Genesis, you take up position at the south entrance. Miguel and myself will start on the edge of the east wing. Hey, you do me a favor, when you see that clock hit 10, it's go time, all right? It's the green light. What do we do then? Just follow me. Watch the firework. Here, come here. You're out. So look, with three, we have the advantage. I'll run point. I'll signal you guys for you sweep the perimeter. English, nerd. Look around and make sure no one is there. Then wave me forward. We'll stop at locker and dance along the way. Uh, it's not the best cover, but it's better than nothing, so. You are way too into this. Have you ever been shot by a pellet? I have. It doesn't feel like that water balloon. Water balloons hurt. Here we go. Come on. Come on. <sighs> That's it.
spooky Somali on me. I'll obscure a path. That doesn't make sense. It does. He's sacrificing himself. You sure that will work? Not at all. Look, chances are one or both of you will be obliterated with me. It's the only strategy we have. Okay, but. Well, looks like I chose the wrong teammate. Did you see me in the mirror over there? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Tactical yeah. skills on point. Should bode well for your future. You guys ready to go for round two? Should we take a second to, like, clean off and regroup? No. No, we, we don't want to be here for more than one or two hours because that security guard might loop back around again. You know what, though? I do want to change up the, the teams. Sadie, you want to come with me? What, did I say something that was funny? No, not at all, Mr. Dunbar. <laughs> Why do you want on your team? Well, Trevor, two things. First, she's really great at taking direction. And as you were all painfully aware of in this last round, my current teammate is not. And the second? And the second is and you guys should know this. Uh, I have a massive, massive crush on her. What? What, did I say something? Mr. Dunbar, that's really weird. Why is that really weird, Genesis? Well. I'm just parroting a rumor that I heard from some students at school. What are you talking about? I was in your Zoom meeting. I, I heard everything you guys said. I, I heard you guys even talking about coming here tonight, which is why I am here, just to have a little fun. The stuff we said, I mean, we didn't... Yeah, we were kidding. Nothing, I don't think... I don't think that those were jokes, Jenison. I, I think if, uh, if the mood struck you that you you turn me in i do i think that you guys would have lied collectively and ruined my career that sucks doesn't it doesn't that suck and why all because i showed a little favoritism to to sadie or i'm sorry should i say at little sadie triple eight Mr. Dunbar, you got it all wrong. We would never do anything like that. I don't like think that. that I do have it all wrong. I think that you have it all wrong. Miguel, I think that you have it all wrong about me. <sighs> Your faces. You guys are ridiculous. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> Your faces. I do, however, want to fly solo on this next round, if that's OK. Is that OK with you guys? Should we say what? When, uh, when the little hand hits the five? Game on? That sound good? Yeah? All right. What the fuck was that? Miguel, you're shaking. Fuck. Guys, I think we should get out of here. Yeah, you think? Let's go. Wait, what about our phones? Shit. I don't care about my phone, okay? Let's just get out of here. Are you fucking high? I'm not leaving here without my phone. 
I'm serious. Fine. You guys go on without us. We'll get your phones and we'll meet you at the front entrance. Yeah, Whatever. Yes, go. See you there. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Why do we need our phones? Because. Are you okay? So what was all that about? What? He knew your Instagram handle. So what? I mean, you're on private. What, Trevor? Did you give him your number or something? Did I give him my phone number? I'm asking. No. He follows me on Instagram. It's not a big deal. But your page is private, which means you had to give him access to your page. We have all of our pictures on yes, your page. Yes, detective. So what? Did he ever DM you? I don't know. No, fuck that. You remember. I DM a lot of people. OK. I'm not talking about this. I just want to go home. Fuck this. <sighs> Take custodian double up so no one can come in or come out. I just go back the way we came. Yeah, but how did... Listen. What? Metal? Chains. It's giving a little bit of slack. I... I think they're locked by chains from the outside. They probably are. What? Trevor, when we came in, there weren't chains on the outside. You were looking? No, but... So how would you know? Then Should why be... won't it open? I don't know. Look, let's just go back to where we came. Come on. Why don't you just break a window then, tough guy? There's no point. There's barbed wire on the windows. Stop. Jesus, Jen, stop! I need my phone. I'm not leaving without it. Fuck. Trevor! Trevor! What? Something is wrong. Something is fucking wrong. Mr. Dunbar? You know, that's a pretty serious offense, destroying school property. Let's get out of here. I'm not leaving. Jen! Ah! Fuck! What the fuck, man? Dude, we're not playing anymore! <laughs> what the hell, man? Stop! Jen, let's go. My phone! Forget your phone! You guys, we need to get out of here! Yeah, I'm over this shit. No, he locked all the doors. What? Dude, I'm not fucking around anymore. We're done playing. Really? You're done playing paintball? Look, someone's gonna get hurt, and if you don't stop shooting that thing, it might be you. Good. The game's over. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't a little disappointed. You know, Washington... He may have been a bitch, but I don't think he ever surrendered. Hey, we gotta go. We have to get past him to get to the west entrance. Yo, we're leaving, man. It's a free country. Why don't you just come out? I just gave up my Second Amendment right. That's not enough. It's okay. What? We have to walk right past him. He threw his gun out. What if he has another one? I'm not staying here. Okay. Fuck. It's fine. He bailed. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, man? You said we were done. <laughs> Trevor, this is not me. Oh my God. Trevor, oh, it's blood. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs>
upsets me that we never got to Theodore Roosevelt in class who is by far in my opinion our greatest president and I quote the fool who has not sense to discriminate between what is good and what is bad is well nigh as dangerous as the man who does discriminate chooses the bad. podcast that we will never do but we should do if we had any balls at all. Hey, help us! Help us! Okay, lightheaded. And we don't judge because we want to see this thing through. Right? So we're laying on the couch, we got the wine, and this mutt won't leave me alone all night. Come on. So I kick it a little, you know, okay, I don't hurt the dog. I kick it just a little bit just to say, you know, let's not. She's allowing her unneutered dog to have sex with my dog. Ow. Ow. I mean, what the? Can I? Hold on a minute. You know what? Let me call you right back, all right? Yeah, let me call you right back.
I saw him go outside and I couldn't get through any of the fucking doors. And... Where's Miguel? He's fucking dead. to get out of here. Mr. Dunbar's been here forever. He's got to know all the hallway passage and everything. And with her hobble, we'll never be fast enough. Don't even think about fucking leaving me. No, someone has to bait him. No, I think, I think we all go. I could run. No, 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 no stop helping her. Trevor. Look, I'll lure him that way, okay? It'll buy you guys some time. I'll find another way out. Okay. Just go. Good plan. Go. First of all, it's Mr. Dunbar. Fuck you, Mr. Dunbar. If there's one thing that you learned from my class this semester is a baseline of fucking manners. You know that? drama club after school. I would go and smoke and then... Jen, who fucking cares? No, no, no. The backstage stairwell. It's the auditorium roof. It's never locked. Are you sure? Now, no. It was last winter, but it could still be unlocked. You have a better idea? Come on. No. If there is, I'm definitely going to need to see a bathroom pass at the end of this. You know what bothers me more than anything has for the past few decades that I've been a teacher? Kids saying that they have to go to the bathroom. You get them a bathroom pass, but they don't really have to go. They're just bored. I mean, I understand that. Hell, I get bored. That doesn't seem like a boredom issue for me. That just seems like a general respect issue. I'm a slave to the bell also, you know? I can't leave 
I can't go. I gotta stay. It's ridiculous. It's archaic. What other job forces you to clinch a shit for 55 plus minutes? Just staring at the clock and praying. Wait, stop me. Go. Come on, we're almost there. Stop. Okay. You go. See if it's open. And then come back. Okay. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Really? story. Never told anybody this before. I got a call from Principal Cabasis a few years back asking me how I would feel about teaching a theater class. The regular teacher, I guess, she got some sort of like mononucleosis illness kind of thing. She retired early and took her syllabus with her. Where is he? I don't know. I was, I was nervous. I was reluctant, but then you know what? At, at some point I thought, what the hell? I'm, just, I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone. I'm gonna dive in. I even wrote a little one act called Death of Lincoln. You know, I put a lot of time into it. Not just writing the play, but like prep hours, lesson plans. So we're a few days from coming back from summer break and I find out that Principal Cabezas reallocated the budget funds for the class. We gotta go. We're not leaving her here. So the class got cut. They spread out the kids into different electives and I went back to another awesome year of teaching history. But it's funny, I always, I always wondered what would have happened if I had gotten the chance to put that play on. And now I don't have to wonder. This is it, it's happening right now. I have a cast, it's amazing. Mr. Dunbar, please. She seems really scared. Either that or she's a really, really good actress. You wanna try for extra credit? Three questions, no mistakes. Get three in a row, you live. Okay, you good on that? Perfect, so am I. All right, first one. This, uh, it's a layup, it's an easy one. Name the president that helped free the slaves. Sorry. Abraham Lincoln. What war did he preside over? C Civil War. She's very good. Sadie, little competition for you. Who killed Abraham Lincoln? I know, it's a hard one. I'll give you three clues, okay? He shot Lincoln in the back of the head. 
he escaped from the scene of the crime. And he has three names. I know this. Three. Three word name. Lee Harvey Oswald. Chet. No. 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 Almost. Unless you have another one, I don't. There is one. What? What do you mean you have another phone? No, Coach Bird keeps one in his office. What? He keeps an old burner phone in his drawer. I seen him use it at the Ultimate Frisbee competition, but I mean, we all think he has something going on inside. I mean, he's married, but. No. You have to double back. You could be walking right into him. We can't go anywhere. Everything is sealed off. Either we find a way to call or we die here. That's it. I don't want to be left alone. Look. Stay put, okay? I'm coming back. I'm coming right back. Stop, I'm scared. I'm scared too. This is the only shot we have. fastest suicides that I've ever seen run. Uh, For real, and believe uh, me, I uh, subbed a lot of PE classes. Uh, 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 I wouldn't worry about it. You'll be okay, just put some ice on it. Not supposed to be in the coach's office unattended. Yes. My name is Joe Bento. I need help. So much. I like it when you open up with your thoughts. The game demands strategic thinking. The game, ladies and gentlemen, is capture the flag.
Hey, baby. Hi. Look at you. I love you. I miss you. What are you doing? I'm just watching the TV and Mommy's sleeping. It is really late. You should be sleeping. What did you... What are you doing calling me? Can you put Sierra back on, on the phone? No. Please. You have a lot a gall calling after the shit you pulled with the bike the other day. I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's a first. Uh, might have been the first time I said it, but it is definitely not the first time I've been it. What do you want? <clears throat> this is really over, isn't it? We're over. I get that. I understand that now. I just tried so freaking hard. I did. I tried. Really. I want you to know that. I do. I know, I know, you do. <sighs> you gave up. Just don't ever forget that you're the one I gave up. No. Listen, I just knew when it was time to go that something you... It's something you never figured out. <laughs> Guess I was too late for that then, huh? Listen, the hex, the hex bolt for the, uh, for the bike to, to put it all back together is in the top drawer in my desk. 
John, where are you? Can you do me a favor? Just tell CR that I really love her. That I do. And you too. Forget the bike. Tell me where you're at. I saved you for last. What do you want? Do you know why you're last? You're not last. I never had any intention of hurting you. Mr. Dunbar, you... Don't call me Mr. Dunbar. Call me John. Let's just stop playing games. texting on the phone right after you gave me your number on Instagram? That was for school. It was for an assignment. You were I... flirting with me. No, I was not flirting with you. Yes, you were. Then no, why did you give me your number? I didn't mean really? to. Why I did didn't you mean me to. Number? I'm stupid. I'm a stupid teenager, man. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry. Remember when you said that you wished sometimes that you could start school all over again? Everyone says that. You can. You can. We can. We can move somewhere else. And I can get a respectable job. But I need to have someone strong beside me for that. many years of my life I've lost to this fucking job and I refuse to believe that it's too late for me I refuse come here come here deserves a second chance. Everyone. And I know that you don't understand that now, but you will. one. 
Put the gun down! Sir! Hey guys, step away from the girl. Can you don't don't start yelling, okay? We're just, we're having a conversation here. Put the gun down! I'm a public servant also, okay? Step away! Put the gun okay. down! I'm not asking again! I'm one of the good guys too. Drop the gun! We're all good guys. Sir, drop the gun. Sadie, are we gonna do this or what? place in history. Exactly. He died knowing he made his mark. His hubris wasn't such that he needed to be king. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. 